viewers thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem finding the value of x now from here let's take this one to this side we have x raised to power 4 minus 1 then we then be equals to 0 then from here let's write this x raised to power 4 in another way and say this is x raised to power 2 then all raised to power 2 minus 1 will be equal to 0 of course we can put you know raised to power 2 in this one as well that is we have one square so one square is still one and uh, we can see this one follows difference of two squares that is when we have the identity of the form a square minus b square so this will be equals to our a plus b multiply by a minus b so this difference of two squares and when we apply that here we can see that a is standing as s square so a standing as s square and b here standing as one so we then have x square plus one then multiply by x squared minus one will then be equals to zero then from here as well when you look at the second bracket here also follow this you know identity when we put square on this one is still the same thing as one then our here our a will be standing as x and the b is one so we can write this second bracket again we have f square plus one then into when we write this one in form of two and six square we have x plus one then times x minus one which is equals to zero then we have you know these solutions here now we have this you know what we have here on the left hand side three times multiplying and giving us zero so either of them could be zero that means we have x square plus one equals to zero that's the first case here or we have the second case we have x plus one equals to zero or we will have the third case which is x minus 1 equals 0 so when we solve this on this side we are going to have x square equals to take plus 1 to this side become minus 1 and uh, we can take the square root on both sides just to cancel you know the square so square we cancel square root and we have plus or minus here so we have x left here then equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1 and square root of minus 1 is i so we have plus or minus i so we have two values of x here we can call the first one x1 is equals to i plus i that's the i then we can call the second value of x that's x2 to be equal to minus i then from here when we solve for x in this case we can take the positive value of x to this side and we have x equals to minus one so which we can call the third values of x so we can say the third value of x s3 equals to minus one and for this case as well we can take minus one to this side we have x equals to it become plus one so we can say that the fourth value of x x4 is equals to 1 so these are the solutions to this problem and we have come to the end of this class we say thank you for joining us don't forget subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now